Oh my god. The sound of rifle shots echoed throughout the forest, the wolves laying motionless on the ground. This is just one of 25 remarkable moments during a wolf hunt in America. Each year, wolves threaten the livelihoods of ranchers by attacking 3,000 livestock, but now 300 wolves have been exterminated reducing the number of harmful wolves by 20%. Want to witness this thrilling chase? Discover it now in our latest video. Wolf hunting in America has become a popular method of managing wolf populations, protecting livestock and maintaining ecological balance. Here, ranchers and hunters often use large caliber rifles, such as the .308 Winchester or 7mm Remington Magnum to hunt wolves. The official wolf hunting season in America runs from September to January, focusing primarily on the vast grasslands of the central and central and southeastern parts. These areas border Wyoming and South Dakota and hunting activities usually begin in the morning or evening when wolves are most active. The hunter moves carefully, observing and following the wolf's tracks. They often use binoculars and audio equipment to detect wolves from afar. When a target is detected, the hunter must move with the wind to avoid detection. Marksmanship is very important in wolf hunting. Experienced hunters can quickly take down these wild animals, minimizing their suffering. The ideal shooting range typically varies from 300 to 900 feet, depending on the rifle. The type of ammunition used is usually the Remington .308.
Hunters can accurately shoot targets up to 1,300 feet in favorable weather conditions. However, most targets are shot from 500 to 650 feet to ensure maximum precision. Hunters must calculate bullet drop based on distance and adjust their aim accordingly. Control and a gentle trigger pull is important to avoid rifle movement and ensure accuracy. Many hunters use shooting sticks or gun mounts to increase stability and prevent accidents. During the 2023 to 2024 hunting season, an estimated 2,800 wolves were hunted statewide, a 10% increase from the previous season, according to the US. Wildlife Management Service. This reflects a notable increase in wolf numbers in the area. Notably, 65% of wolves were recorded in three counties in the northern United States, which have the highest wolf densities. In the evening, hunting wolves on the plains has become a popular method of controlling wolf populations in various states across the United States. This activity often takes place in large fields where wolves often appear to hunt or move between areas. The ideal time to hunt wolves at night usually starts in the early morning and lasts until around midnight because this is when wolves are most active in searching for food. According to a study by the University of Idaho, about 80% of wolf activity occurs during this time. Hunters employ a range of specialized tools and equipment. Thermal binoculars are essential for spotting wolf packs in darkness from long distances. Yeah. 
These popular binoculars can detect heat signatures from up to 4,000 feet away. Rifles equipped with thermal or night vision scopes allow hunters to aim precisely even in low light conditions. That's right, many hunters also use electronic callers to imitate the sounds of their prey, attracting wolves closer. According to recent data from the Federal Wildlife Service, about 70% of hunters use this method and report a 45% increase in effectiveness. In 2023, about 15,000 wolves will be hunted nationwide. In the United States, which has the most lenient wolf hunting regulations, 50% of wolves are hunted at night. Nighttime hunts there are up 25% over the previous year. Although wolf hunting remains controversial, it is still considered a necessary measure to maintain ecological balance and protect local livestock. A 2023 study found that managing wolf populations reduced livestock losses by American farmers by 25%, or about $8 million annually. However, conservationists continue to call for more humane management methods to maintain a balance between human needs and biodiversity conservation. Do you support hunting to control wolf populations? Please comment yes if you agree or no, if you think this is an inhumane measure. Some Americans strongly oppose hunting wolves at night because they believe that this activity causes many negative consequences for the ecosystem. They are concerned that hunting at night will not only reduce wolf numbers but also affect other animals. This can lead to disturbances in food chains and reduce biodiversity, seriously affecting the natural balance. Managing wolf populations is a complex issue that requires careful consideration between protecting agricultural assets and conserving wildlife. While each person's perspective may differ, it is important to better understand management methods and their impact. Continue watching the following video to not miss the interesting and useful content of Mouse Farm. In Miami, an increase in traffic accidents involving baboons has become a serious problem. With more than 100 vehicle collisions with baboons reported in 2022, their presence on the road has resulted in injuries to road users, causing traffic jams for hours at a time. 
These incidents are said to mean that food sources in the wild are scarce, so they have to go into the city. Vehicles stopping to rest were repeatedly attacked by baboons, which caused concern among Florida residents. So to prevent traffic accidents caused by baboons, what measures have Florida residents taken to solve the problem? The number of baboons in Miami decreased from 3,000 to 1,000 after the implementation of guns. Reducing baboon numbers has contributed to reducing the risk of traffic accidents and improving road safety. In addition, people need to coordinate with local authorities to raise awareness about the dangers of baboons and educate them on how to respond when encountering them. According to studies, baboon hunting is most effective during the day. Daylight provides optimal visibility, allowing hunters to observe baboon activity. In addition, it is recommended to hunt in groups of at least five to six people, especially in wild areas, to increase safety. Working together in a group not only provides support in an emergency, but also provides an opportunity for hunters to learn from each other's experiences and improve their hunting skills together. The Ruger brand is one of the famous hunting equipment manufacturers in Florida. This brand produces specifically for hunters to serve hunting activities. Florida authorities license hunters to use Ruger American rifles and Ruger Hawkeye rifles. This proves that the Ruger brand has built a solid reputation in the hunting community for the quality and reliability of its products. If you like to use Ruger American rifles, please comment number five. Bait used to attract baboons is important in hunting in Florida. Hunters prepare a variety of fruits such as bananas and oranges. One hunter mentioned that hunting baboons without prepared bait will not attract them to the hunting area. Without bait, the chances of dealing with a baboon are reduced, making the hunt less successful. Therefore, hunters focus on choosing and preparing bait to increase their hunting chances and ensure a successful hunt. Additionally, to ensure hunter safety, certain regulations apply in Florida. Although the state does not permit the use of firearms for hunting, hunters may participate if they are licensed by the appropriate authority. However, to maintain safety standards, the government has set requirements for hunters to comply with. Hunting licenses in Florida include many different types, such as recreational hunting licenses, management area licenses, and quota licenses. Hunters must be over 18 years old to participate in baboon hunting. If hunters violate these policies, they may face consequences such as fines, license suspensions, or even legal action, depending on the severity of the violation. According to Florida government control results, the average weight of adult baboons is about 30 to 40 pounds, 
depending on the species and its age. The baboon hunting season in Florida usually takes place in October and November. According to the license, hunters are only allowed to hunt baboons that are of reasonable size and do not carry diseases. Hunters are not allowed to hunt baboons that are pregnant or have young children. Many hunters today apply the bow and arrow combination method to improve efficiency in baboon hunting. This combination has yielded good results with the use of guns and created uniquely different experiences. Using a bow and arrow will bring a new experience in hunting techniques. Each hunt, hunters are usually given about 6 to 12 arrows, depending on the policies and regulations of the specific hunting area. Using bows and arrows to hunt baboons not only saves money but also brings many advantages. Arrows can be reused many times, reducing financial pressure on hunters. Using bows and arrows does not make as much noise as guns and does not affect surrounding animals. Arrow travel speed when shooting baboons typically ranges from 150 to 300 feet per second, depending on the type of bow and the specific configuration of the arrow. The use of bows and arrows and guns to hunt baboons has caused many mixed opinions in the community, for different reasons. Some communities do not support this practice because of concerns about violence and negative impacts on the environment. Using guns can create loud noise, affect the ecosystem and irritate other animals in the area. In addition, guns also have the risk of injuring other animals during hunting. As a result, some communities do not support either approach and promote other solutions such as public education, environmental management, and species protection. Do you find the gun or bow and arrow method more effective in dealing with millions of invasive baboons? Click the like button if you support fighting with guns. Click the channel subscription button if you support using bows and arrows. Thank you for watching the entire video and please share this video for your family to have good luck. Don't take your eyes off the screen, continue watching the next video. So since these solutions have been affecting in preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.